Where did all the piggies go? Hi, piggies. Hello, piggies. Hello, hello. How is everybody? So this is our temporary setup. This is actually my old bedroom. So everybody is on the floor because I just wanted to make it super easy so I didn't cut any of the chloroplasts. It's just all sitting there with the grids on top. So over here is the herd's cage. They have a 3x7 right now. And then a 2x3 right there is Velvet. So Velvet can see the herd and she can also see Apple and Huckle. So theirs is a 3x4 just like they had before. And then we have Bullseye in a 2x3 and Angus in a 2x3. So Angus I decided to keep him as far away from the unspayed females as possible because he'd probably get pretty wound up being that close. So Huckle he isn't neutered yet so there is a top on there so that he's not going to be jumping into any pens but I have absolutely no fear of him doing any of that. He's really gentle talking to the other ladies through the bars just touching noses. So Velvet, before she was super scared and super nervous, I literally was hand feeding her twice a day, if not more, giving her water. I never saw her come out of her cube. As soon as I put her in this cage, it took 30 seconds for her to decide that everything was okay because she said hello to Huckle, she said hello to Rudy, and then some of the other girls came up and touched their noses and then just immediately she started eating hay, she started drinking tons of water and then we saw laps. It was the sweetest thing. Like melted my heart so when we were doing the moving I couldn't stay for very long because I was still moving pigs and supplies over here but it was really nice to see her warm up and then that night when I had more time to sit around and watch she was out running laps like a mad woman popcorning it was so adorable so everybody's been really gentle through the grids my plan is still to put Velvet with Angus who goes to get neutered very shortly. I am neutering Huckle because I would love to see if Miss Apple and Huckle could go with the herd. If Velvet doesn't get along with Angus for whatever reason then I want to try Velvet with the herd and then I would obviously get Angus somebody else. So Angus and Bullseye, I have a lot of plexiglass up but they can reach over top there and touch noses. Uh, they have a lot of dominance attitudes towards each other, but there's not much I can do about that. It's probably best that they can see each other for some friendliness. But everybody else is doing really well. It just took a couple days for them to get used to the fact that they're on the floor and there's lots of different sounds in here. The door is really loud and creaky when you open it. So my mom does have cats so I do keep the door closed so that no cats come in. Her cats are perfectly fine around her rabbits. I, they're like the most gentle sweet cats but still 
for safety sake, we keep the door closed at all times. So I don't know how my video schedule will be because it's a little bit different. Um, I'm very lucky to have such kind parents to allow my pigs to be over here while we're doing a little transition in our life. Uh, and I'm very thankful also that I am close by so that it's very quick to stop in here to do our morning and nightly routine and of course just hang out with the pigs. It's very weird not having them downstairs and being able to pop downstairs whenever I feel like it because I always was down there a whole bunch of times a day so it's definitely a lot different but it helps knowing that everybody's acting very relaxed and the hugest thing was seeing Velvet actually just be a pig because that was a big concern of mine because before I was going downstairs all the time to take her out of her cube and make sure she had food and water and now I don't have to worry about that. She does do a teeny bit of bar chewing at night just for a little bit here or there but I imagine she wants to be with the girls but I'm going to give Angus the chance to see if he wants to be with her and if Angus doesn't then I'll be adopting a baby for Angus so that we don't have to go through with adults not getting along since babies with an adult are much easier to bond. So we'll see. Like I would absolutely love to have her with the herd but then that means getting another pig for sure and I would much rather not adopt more piggies at this time because my hands are full. But we will see what happens. So for now, the piggies are doing well. Bye-bye. You're so friendly, Rudy. Who's over there, Hucky? Oh, go, 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 go.